Have you ever sat perfectly still and felt the quiet calm of the world around you? Maybe you are sitting in a chair right now, reading these words, feeling completely motionless. It seems so simple, doesn't it? We feel the ground beneath our feet, solid and unmoving. We look up at the sky and everything appears to be in its place. But I have a question for you, is any of it truly still? The answer, which is honestly one of the most profound truths of our universe, is a resounding no. You, me, this planet and everything we have ever known are all hurtling through the vastness of space at unimaginable speeds. It is this cosmic dance of immense scale and we are all participants. The illusion of stillness is like one of the most powerful tricks our senses play on us. We live our lives on the surface of this small rocky world, and our everyday experience tells us that things only move when a force pushes them. A car needs an engine, a ball needs a kick. Yet, the universe operates on a different set of rules, governed by gravity and the leftover momentum from its explosive birth nearly 14 billion years ago. Nothing in the cosmos is truly at rest. Every star, every planet, every galaxy is in a state of perpetual motion, caught in this intricate web of gravitational pulls, forever falling and orbiting through the dark expanse of space. This concept can be pretty difficult to grasp because it goes against everything our intuition tells us. We are like passengers on a gigantic, incredibly smooth spaceship. We do not feel the engines rumbling or the ship shaking. Everything inside our spaceship, the Earth, moves along with us. So we have no external reference point to tell us we are moving. The air we breathe, the oceans, the very continents are all our fellow passengers on this journey. It is only when we look out the window, at the stars and other galaxies, that we can begin to piece together the truth of our incredible voyage through the cosmos. So, let's peel back the layers of this motion, one by one. We will start with our immediate surroundings and gradually zoom out to the grandest scales imaginable. Each step will reveal a new layer of speed, a new dance partner in this universal ballet. From the gentle spin of our planet to the headlong rush of our entire galaxy, the numbers will become staggering. But they will also reveal a beautiful and fundamental truth. To be part of the universe is to be in motion. We are not static observers, we are active travelers on a journey of cosmic proportions and the ride is truly wild. Our cosmic journey begins right here, with the ground beneath our feet. The Earth itself is not a static ball of rock. It is constantly spinning on its axis, like a giant top. This rotation is what gives us our day and night. As our side of the planet turns towards the sun, we experience daylight. As it turns away we are plunged into the darkness of night, this spin is relentless and honestly surprisingly fast. If you were standing at the equator you would be whipping through space at a speed of about 1,670 kilometers per hour, or about 1,000 miles per hour. That is faster than most commercial airplanes can fly, yet we feel nothing. But that is just the first layer of our motion. As the Earth spins, it is also embarking on a much larger journey. It is orbiting our star, the Sun. We are gravitationally bound to it locked in a massive, nearly circular path that takes approximately 365 days to complete. This is what we call a year. To travel this immense distance in just one year, our planet has to move at an incredible speed. Right now, as you read this, Earth is carrying you through space at a blistering 107,000 kilometers per hour, which is about 67,000 miles per hour. Think about that for a moment. It is a speed so immense that it is almost impossible to comprehend in human terms. Let's try to put that orbital speed into perspective. A commercial jet travels at around 900 kilometers per hour. Our planet is moving through space more than 100 times faster than that. In the time it has taken you to read this paragraph, you have traveled thousands of kilometers through space. We are passengers on an organic spaceship, a world teeming with life, that is completing a massive lap around its local star every single year. This constant journey is what defines our seasons and the rhythm of our lives, all while we remain blissfully unaware of the incredible velocity at which we are moving. So already we have two distinct motions. We are spinning on our axis at over 1,600 kilometers per hour, and we are orbiting the sun at 107,000 kilometers per hour. These movements are happening simultaneously, meaning our true path is not a simple circle but a beautiful, looping spiral as we spin and orbit. We are like a child on a carousel that is itself mounted on a moving train. But this is only the beginning of the story. Our sun, the anchor of our solar system, is not sitting still either. It is also on a journey, and this is where the scales of speed and distance become truly astronomical. 
Our sun, the star that gives us light and life, may seem like the stationary center of our world, but it is just one of about 200 billion stars in our home galaxy, the Milky Way. And just as the Earth orbits the sun, the sun itself orbits the supermassive black hole that lies at the heart of our galaxy. The entire solar system with all its planets, moons and asteroids is being dragged along for this epic ride. This journey is on a scale that honestly dwarfs our planet's orbit. The Sun is located about 27,000 light-years from the galactic center, and it is moving at a truly mind-boggling speed. To complete one full orbit around the Milky Way's core, our solar system travels at an average speed of about 828,000 kilometers per hour, or roughly 514,000 miles per hour. At this phenomenal speed, you could travel around the Earth's equator in just three minutes. This is a velocity that really pushes the boundaries of our imagination. It is so fast that no machine ever built by humanity can even come close to matching it. Yet even at this incredible pace, the galaxy is so immense that it still takes our sun and its family of planets a very, very long time to complete a single lap. The time it takes for the sun to complete one full orbit around the galactic center is known as a galactic year or a cosmic year. One galactic year is estimated to be about 230 million Earth years long. This means the last time our solar system was in its current position in the galaxy, dinosaurs were just beginning to roam the Earth. The time before that, our planet was a barren rock with life only just beginning to form in the oceans. Throughout the entire history of humanity, we have traveled only a tiny fraction of our current galactic orbit. We are truly newcomers to this ancient cosmic neighborhood. So now we have another layer of motion to add to our cosmic speed. On top of Earth's spin and its orbit around the Sun, our entire solar system is being carried on a grand tour of the Milky Way. Our path through space is not just a simple corkscrew, it is a corkscrew that is itself moving in a vast sweeping circle around the galactic center. Each of these motions adds to our total velocity, painting a picture of a universe in constant dynamic flow. But believe it or not the story does not end here. Our entire galaxy is also on the move. Just when you think the speeds cannot get any more astonishing, we zoom out one final time to look at the big picture. Our Milky Way galaxy is not an isolated island of stars floating in an empty void. It is part of a local cluster of galaxies which in turn is part of an even larger supercluster. And everything in our cosmic neighborhood is being pulled by gravity towards a mysterious, unseen destination. The entire Milky Way galaxy along with our neighboring galaxy Andromeda and many others, is being drawn towards a massive concentration of mass in space known as the Great Attractor. This region of space located some 150 million light years away, has such an immense gravitational pull that it is dragging our entire galaxy towards it. The speed of this motion is the most staggering of all. Our Milky Way galaxy is hurtling through the universe at approximately 2.1 million kilometers per hour, or about 1.3 million miles per hour. This is a speed that simply defies all everyday comparison. It is a fundamental motion, a consequence of the distribution of matter and energy across the universe since the Big Bang. We are part of a great cosmic river flowing through space-time itself. Let's try to sum it all up. We have the Earth's spin. We have its orbit around the Sun. We have the Sun's orbit around the galactic center. And finally, we have the galaxy's own motion through the universe. When you combine all these velocities you get a rough estimate of our true speed through space. Depending on which way these motions are pointing at any given time, our total speed is something on the order of millions of kilometers per hour. We are not just moving, we are moving at a speed that is almost incomprehensibly fast, a blur of motion against the static backdrop of the cosmic microwave background radiation. This ultimate speed is a reminder of our place in the universe. We are not the center of everything and we are certainly not still. We are part of a structure, a system of systems, all interconnected by the fundamental force of gravity. From the smallest spin to the largest galactic flow, every layer of motion tells a story about the history and evolution of the cosmos. It tells us that the universe is not a quiet static place but a dynamic, evolving, and incredibly energetic environment. And we are right in the middle of it, along for the ride of a lifetime. With all this talk of spinning, orbiting and hurtling through space at millions of kilometers per hour, a very reasonable question arises. Why don't we feel it? If we are moving so fast, why isn't our hair constantly blown back? Why can we pour a cup of tea without it flying all over the room? The answer lies in a simple but profound concept. 
constant velocity, we don't feel motion itself, we only feel changes in motion, which is something scientists call acceleration. When you are in a car that is moving at a steady speed on a smooth road, you feel almost as if you are sitting still. It is only when the driver hits the brakes or steps on the gas that you are pushed back into your seat or thrown forward. That is acceleration. The same principle applies to our journey through space. The Earth's spin is incredibly stable and has been constant for billions of years. Its orbit around the Sun is also very smooth and predictable. Likewise, the Sun's path around the galaxy and the galaxy's path through the universe are, on human timescales, incredibly steady. We are moving at a near constant velocity, so we have no sensation of the immense speed. Everything around us, the air, the buildings, the oceans, is moving along with us. Think of being on a modern airplane. Once it reaches its cruising altitude and speed, you can unbuckle your seatbelt, walk down the aisle, and a flight attendant can pour you a drink without spilling a drop. You do not feel the 900 kilometers per hour you are traveling at because the plane, the air inside it, and you are all moving together as a single system. There is no relative motion between you and your immediate surroundings. It is only by looking out the window at the clouds below that you get any sense of your true speed. Our planet is an even smoother ride than the most advanced aircraft. This lack of sensation is crucial for life. If we were constantly being subjected to the forces of acceleration and deceleration on a cosmic scale, life as we know it could never have evolved. The stability of our planet's motion has provided a calm and predictable environment for billions of years, allowing complex organisms to develop. We live inside a protective bubble of constant velocity, shielded from the true violence and speed of our cosmic journey. We are lucky passengers on a very smooth ride, allowing us to build cities, write poetry, and ponder the very nature of the universe that is carrying us along. Understanding our motion through space does more than just provide us with mind-boggling numbers. It fundamentally changes our perspective on ourselves and our place in the universe. It shows us that the universe is not a static backdrop, but a dynamic and interconnected system. Scientists study this motion to understand the grand structure of the cosmos, to map the distribution of dark matter, and to test the laws of gravity over vast distances. By tracking the movement of stars and galaxies, we can learn about the birth of the universe in the Big Bang and predict its ultimate fate. Our motion is a clue to the universe's past and future. The sheer scale of these movements also gives us a profound sense of humility. Even at our incredible speeds, the universe is so vast that the stars in our night sky appear fixed and unchanging over a human lifetime. It would take us tens of thousands of years to reach even the nearest star, Proxima Centauri, with our fastest current technology. Our cosmic journey is a slow and patient one, measured not in years or decades, but in eons. It reminds us that we are just at the beginning of our exploration, with an entire universe of wonders waiting to be discovered, most of which we will only ever see from afar. This shared journey is a powerful unifying concept. Every person who has ever lived, and every person who ever will, has been a passenger on this same cosmic spaceship. We are all bound together on this small, fragile world, hurtling through the immense darkness of space. The borders we draw on maps and the conflicts that divide us seem incredibly small when viewed against the backdrop of our shared voyage. We are a single crew on a single vessel, and our survival depends on our ability to work together and take care of our planetary home as it carries us through the cosmos. So the next time you look up at the night sky, take a moment to reflect on this incredible motion. Remember that you are not sitting still. You are spinning, orbiting and flying through the universe at a speed you can barely imagine. You are a traveler through space and time, part of a grand cosmic dance that began billions of years ago and will continue for billions more. We are all moving through space together, even if we do not feel it. And what a magnificent, wondrous journey it is.